At Howard University, many students hope to get jobs after graduation, but others are enjoying the benefits and dealing with the challenges of running businesses on campus. Students start businesses for different reasons. Junior business management major Chris Fred owns a vending machine company, and he was brought up in the tradition of entrepreneurship. Well, entrepreneurship is uh, what I say in my blood. I mean, my parents were both, both entrepreneurs. Um, my mother had a clothing line. My father had multiple restaurants. Melanie Walker is a Howard alumna. During undergrad, she started Melani's Jewelry by chance and has been continuing business ever since. I think it was something that I fell into. I think it's something that comes naturally to me. So it was natural for me to move on to, to work for myself. Students can visit the Institute of Entrepreneurship and Innovation in the School of Business to get help with their ventures. Lead graduate assistant Kate Costa named a few of the available services and programs. We have educational workshop series throughout the year, which include things like how to write a business plan, how to get funding for your business. We have two incubators on campus, um, so students are able to have a space to start their business. We also try to provide sources of funding for entrepreneurs, so we either have a business plan competition or a pitch competition. Student entrepreneurs enjoy other benefits along with these resources. I really enjoyed being able to control my own destiny, being able to mold my future and, and really put my life in my own hands. I learned a lot about time management um, and friends, working with friends in school. There are also the setbacks to consider. Well, it can be a little bit tougher for students to start a business. First of all, most students haven't worked much, so they don't have a lot of experience and they don't have a lot of capital. Level of stress. It's not all fun and games. It's not, oh, I'll make money and it's the best thing to slice bread. It's very hard work. Um, you have to depend on other people. You can't do everything on your own. You're working on your business 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It never leaves your mind. You don't have time off from, a, uh, from owning a company. If you're interested in entrepreneurship, here's some advice. You just need to be all the way in when you're talking about business and entrepreneurship because if you're not totally committed, you're not going to finish that dream. You're not going to be able to have that opportunity to make your business what it needs to be. And so I definitely want you to be passionate, extremely passionate about what you're doing because if you're not, it's not going to work out. Make sure you plan well. There's nothing more important than a solid business plan so that you have all the groundwork laid and when you go out there and actually start your business, you can make sure you're successful. You can't make money and excuses at the same time. Running a business can be rewarding with its benefits and resources on campus, but it can also be challenging. For the Spotlight Network, I'm Nick Westbrooks.